If you should find yourself in a clover patch, and are particularly lucky, you might find a four-leaf clover. These rare little mutations occur about once in every 10,000 clovers, and are one of the most common good luck charms in the Western world. But why are they thought to be lucky, and what else do they mean? Using a tattoo machine we bought on Amazon, my wife is giving me some lucky tattoos, despite never having been trained as a tattoo artist. Then I will scour the internet in an attempt to find out what my new tattoo means. For the next tattoo in this series of symbols meant to give luck, I have chosen the four-leaf clover. It is said that Ireland has more occurrences of four-leaf clovers than any place else on earth, hence the phrase, the luck of the Irish. While the odds of finding one are about one in every 10,000 clovers elsewhere, in Ireland the odds are thought to be closer to one in every 5,000. So the four-leaf clover is a symbol of St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, right? Well, no. That would be the shamrock. And while shamrocks are certainly clovers, not all clovers are shamrocks. In fact, no one is definitively sure what type of clover shamrocks are. The word shamrock comes from the Irish words for little clover, and the shamrock of legend had only three leaves, as St. Patrick used it as a visual representation of the Holy Trinity, while converting the Druids of Ireland to Christianity. The leaves are also said to symbolize hope, faith, and love, and early Druids would carry a shamrock with them, believing it would help them to see and escape from evil spirits. There is a saying, to live in clover, which means to live a carefree life of comfort and prosperity. But what's so special about clover? There are at least 240 species of clover in the genus Trifolium, which means three leaves, and they are part of the pea family of legumes. Clover grows primarily in the northern hemisphere, but can also be found to grow in abundance in South America and Africa. Clover is eaten by wildlife, such as bears and birds, and grown as feed for livestock. It is high in protein, phosphorus, and calcium. Clover is planted as a cover crop as it helps prevent erosion and adds to the soil quality and fertility, while also helping to control weeds and pests. Clover is also planted as a green manure crop, meaning it is plowed into the soil while it is still green in order to enrich the soil with nitrogen. Clover is a favorite of both bumblebees and honeybees, and clover honey has become a staple in many homes. Some indigenous American people ate clover both raw and cooked, and would also make bread from the seeds of clover blossoms. Clovers tend to have small, fragrant flowers that can be white, pink, red, or yellow, and due to the tolerance and durability of clover, it can be found in many yards as a grass companion or alternative. Clover lawns tend to require less mowing, as well as attracting and helping pollinators. In a writing by John Milton from 1620, we read that if any man, walking in the fields, find any four-leafed grass, he shall, in a small while after, find something good. While this is the first known writing of the four-leaf clover being lucky, it is believed that it was ancient Celtic druids who decided that they were good luck charms powerful talismans which offered magical protection against evil spirits and could ward off bad luck. Children in the Middle Ages believed four-leaf clovers could grant them the power to see fairies, and while the three leaves of a shamrock are said to represent hope, faith, and love, the fourth leaf on these special clovers signifies luck. It is also said the four leaves represent fame, wealth, health, and love, although I am not sure which of these four attributes are missing from a shamrock. Some stories even claim that Eve took a four-leaf clover as a remembrance of the Garden of Eden, as her and Adam were cast out, but the Bible that I consulted could not confirm this. So their luck comes from finding them. Well, yes. Four-leaf clovers are generally found in open fields, meadows, and lawns, especially in places where the grass is kept short. They tend to be most prevalent in the early spring and late summer. The fourth leaf is often smaller and of a different shade of green. There are collectors who claim to have found more than 160,000 four-leaf clovers over their lifetimes, and there are even Guinness World Records associated with them. On September 21, 2019, 
Gabriella Gerhardt of Wisconsin, USA, set the record for most four-leaf clovers found in one hour by finding 451. Previously, on June 16th of 2018, Gabriella had set the record for most found over an eight-hour period, when she found a whopping 887. The record for the largest collection of four-leaf clovers was set by American Edward Martin Sr., who had compiled 111,060 as of May 2007. Finally, on the 10th of May in 2009, a Japanese man named Shigeo Obara set the world record for most leaves found on one clover stem. A culmination of over 60 years' worth of natural crossbreeding of polyphylus clover in his garden had produced a stem containing 56 leaves. So, four leaves are not the limit. In fact, a clover with five leaves is called a rose clover and is thought to bring substantial good luck as well as financial gain. It is thought that the odds of finding a rose clover are 24,400 to 1. Today, the four-leaf clover can be found as a symbol throughout our world. It has long been a decoration on Alfa Romero race cars, and it has been on every SpaceX mission patch since their first launch in 2008. It is the official badge of Glasgow's Celtic Football Club, and is incorporated in the symbols of the youth organization 4-H, the New Jersey Lottery, Internet Dumpster Fire 4chan, and the Polish People's Party, just to name a few. Three- and four-leaf clover tattoos are also quite common, although shamrock tattoos are sometimes associated with hate groups, so make sure you know what you are getting before you get inked. Fame, health, wealth, hope, faith, love, balance, symmetry, and of course, good luck. That is what I have found out regarding the meaning of a four-leaf clover tattoo. This was Beth's first attempt at an embroidered patch tattoo, and I think it came out really good. Now that you've come this far, please leave a comment telling me why you liked or hated this video. If you did like it, or if you learned something new, please consider subscribing to the channel so you will always know what we are up to next. So, yeah, that's that. Until next time, thank you for watching, and good luck!